In this video, I'll show you how to extract unique distinct records using a condition and also some numbers or values. The formula will show the name for the names for the selected branch and the branch and the total sum for each name. The county function lets you extract unique distinct values and I'm going to show you how it works. The county function and then the cell right above and this cell reference is special because it the first part will be locked and that will not move and the second part will move and to lock a cell reference press select the cell reference and press function key f4 and this will make the cell reference change as you copy the formula to cells below and in the second argument, I'm going to use the criteria. And in this case, it will be an entire cell range. And lock that too. We don't want that to change. And now the county function will count the value in this cell here, in this column here. And since there is, there are no blanks in this column here, it will return zero in each value in this array. So enter this as an array formula. And to do that, you press and hold Control and Shift, and then press Enter once, and then release all keys. And now you can see here in the formula bar that there are curly brackets, and this tells you that this is an array formula. However, it doesn't it doesn't show you all the values in the array so you need to extend this formula to cells below so select it and then click in the formula bar and then enter it as an array formula once again press and hold control and shift key and then press enter and now you can see all the values in the array and there are as many values in this array as there are values in this cell range here. So it returns an error because I have I'm showing too many values here. So what happens if I type Frank here? The formula here changes and it now shows one for this value in the array and the corresponding value is this so every time there is the name Frank in this cell range the corresponding value in this array is one so now we can use the county function to keep track of previous values above the current cell. We also want to make sure that we are getting values from bra this branch here. And to do that, you need to build a logical expression, equal sign, and then a cell reference to this value, and lock it, and then equal sign again, and then this cell range here and lock this cell range also. And we're not going to use the equal sign here. We are going to use the less and greater than signs. And this means that it, this value is not equal to this value. So branch is not equal to branch, and that will return zero or false. And if I extend this logical expressions, 
expression so we can see all the values in the array you now see that it returns true for values that are not equal to branch a and now i'm going to add these two arrays so one plus false and false is the same as zero and true is the same as one so one plus false is one and so on and i'll show you copy this and then a plus sign and then copy this logical expression and add it and I need a parenthesis here I believe and now you can enter this as an array formula and here are all the values in the array so what does this mean if we delete the value frank here this array here returns zero because there are no values above this cell and this array here or formula returns false for the values branch here so now we know the values we need to extract because they the values we are looking for has zero in in the in this array here and to look for them i'm going to use the match function and then the zero and then the formula so far and then the third argument in the match function is also a zero and now enter it as an array formula and this will tell us that the first value to extract from this list is this name here so then use the index function to get the value from that data table so I'm going to select the, uh, this cell range here and then lock this cell reference up here comma paste the formula so far ending parenthesis and now enter it as an array formula sorry don't do that you need to change one cell reference here and it's this one so make sure it points to the cell right above the current cell now enter it as an array formula and it returns an error because I have a cell range here that has two columns so I need to not only specify a row number I also need a column number for this to work and to do that type comma and now the column number needs to change as I copy this formula to cells below so I'm going to use the columns function and an expanding cell reference so lock the first part of these of the cell reference and now enter it as an array formula and now it returns Frank and then copy it to cells below and now you can see that it returns unique distinct values from this column here but it also returns a branch from this here and we are looking for branch A records that have branch A 
and in this case there is only three names because if I extend this formula to cells below you can see that it returns not available so branch A has Frank Joe Joe and Mike and that seems to be the names up here so copy the formula and paste it here and make sure you change this cell reference here and now enter it as an array formula and paste it like this and the now we need to sum the values for fr this record here, Frank in branch A. And to do that, I'm going to use this sum x function. And the first argument here is this cell range here, the values I want to sum. And the criteria range is going to be this range here. And I need to lock the cell references here because I'm going to copy this formula to these cells here and the third argument is the criteria value and it's going to be Frank here and then the fourth argument is the criteria range and it will be this cell range here and lock that but don't lock this cell reference here because it will also change as you copy it to cells below. And the last argument in this formula will be the branch here. And now an ending parenthesis and then press only enter. And you can see that the formula has added this value and this value and this value and 10 plus 20 plus 40 is 70 and to copy this click and hold on the black dot and then drag it to cells below and Joey here has 30 40 and 20 and that is 90 and there is only one record with Mike and branch R A and that is that returns 15 you can also use the sum product function to sum these values to do that Type equal sign and then some product parenthesis and another parenthesis and the first logical expression will be this value equals these values and F, press F4 to change it to absolute to an absolute cell reference ending parenthesis multiply with a new parenthesis and this value here equals the cell range here and lock it ending parenthesis and the last cell reference is the values here and i want them to be locked as well and then an ending parenthesis and now end Press enter.